while we are talking about good times, you're going to have an even better time at the yeah. Cincinnati International Wine Festival. Oh, yeah. Get ready to sip some wine and raise a glass to charity. And to tell us more, we are joined by Janelle Walton from Cincinnati Public Radio for Cincinnati International Wine Festival. And good morning. Good and morning. And hey. welcome back to you, right? Hey, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Back on my old stomping grounds. I Thank know. you. Absolutely. So glad to have you here. So if somebody hasn't been to the, the wine festival mm -hmm. before, what can they expect? Anything new this year that you know of? Yes, yeah, so there is a lot of new things, like some different beverages we've got this year. Of course, it's all about the wine. Right. You know, we want you to come taste the wine, but we know that there are people who would like to try different things. So we've got sake this year. And oh, the wow. menu, we've got some more food items. Of mm. course, you know, you have the cracker and cheese stations. Mm -hmm. But we've got some different menu items, too, for people to come. And wrap dessert, because we know people are worried and concerned these days because, you know, of the pandemic. So right. we're just being safe all around. So if, even if you try the food, it's going to be served. Um, we've got the desserts wrapped. So everybody's going to be covered in that thing, too. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we're talking, what, over 700 different types of wine. And the really cool thing about the International Wine Festival, though, you benefit, what, like upwards of, of 30 different charities are involved That's with this? right, that's right. But, Pete, you're not going to try 700 um, different uh, wines. Yeah, right, right. Right. I Michelle, hope not. We, we hope not, right? <laughs> we'll have to share that. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. right. We'll, we'll split that up. Yeah. Yeah. But, yes, that's actually how um, WGUC, our classical music station at Cincinnati Public Radio, how we even became involved because mm. with Russ Wiles, he was at that time an industry professional in the um, bottling industry. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know what, I really want to have a great vision to see how can we help the community but have fun too so right. literally one glass at a time can you guys believe since 1991 we've given away close to seven million dollars to local charities That's all nice. through people coming to the wine festival that lasts over a couple of days and you mm -hmm. know this year it's at the duke energy center yeah. so you know for people to come down and just sample different wines it's a great way to do it you know yeah. Yeah. sampling yeah. a little bit and you can kind of find something you really like if you come and check it out we hope you guys are going to come too maybe oh, yeah. well have you a know what? To stop in i think you've talked me into it when you all talk right. about for charity yep and mm -hmm. then great wines and i know you brought a couple with you today mm -hmm. right yep that's right and these are some of the high-end wines yep. for people to come out and that's another good reason for you to come out and try it out. If you're like me, I don't necessarily have a lot of experience on the different wines like, oh, well, this mm -hmm. goes with a great cheese. This goes <laughs> with, you know, a wonderful steak. I will admit, I'm not that person, but yeah. going yeah. to the different wineries and the professionals there, yeah. you're going to be able to ask them those type of questions, and maybe you'll even figure out, hey, this is a new wine for me. Another great, mm -hmm. really cool thing this year is that we're going to have um, 11 female wineries, oh, um, wow. those vendors there. I love that. So, yeah, so yeah. reaching out in different ways to the community to yeah. be inclusive for everybody to be there. Oh, I love that. Well, yeah. it's like you said, too. I mean, you know, you kind of get the chance to try a bunch of different things because I know that, you know, after a few samples, Samples, it seems like it, it tastes good with anything. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, to be honest about it, what, what are you right. looking forward to the most this weekend? You know what? Really, it's fun to see the volunteers come out every year. So we've yeah. been managing those volunteers since it started back in 1991, long before I started at the radio station. Mm -hmm. But the volunteers, at one point, we had up to 400 volunteers. Wow. And they would be, like, at the check-in table, the coat um, check. They would be at the cheese table, you know, and helping in different kinds of ways. Yeah. So it really is a true community event. It really is. I the community's all coming out to help. I yeah. love it. I love it. So where can people, if, if they want more information, mm -hmm. want to get tickets, what should they do? Yep. On social is Cincy Wine Fest. They can go to any social media platform, find it there. But mm -hmm. then uh, winefestival.com. You go there, you can get the tickets. There's still plenty. Come on out. I know you said you were maybe coming down with your wife. Yeah, yeah. Bring your husband. Yes. Michelle. Come and have some I'm fun thinking, with us. I'm thinking maybe date night or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love well, it Janelle, so great to see you. Thanks so you much too. for coming on talking about the International Wine Festival. Thanks and, for having uh, me. We'll be right back.